Hello everyone, it's me Meow Me and it's time for another Meow Me Makes today. Today we're going to make ourselves a DIY cat bed using cardboard boxes. Um, to do today's make you're going to need a selection of cardboard boxes, I've got some poster paints, a glue gun, a pair of scissors, some brushes, I'm also going to need a pencil and a black pen. Okay, let's get started. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, step number one, we've got our box. As you can see, it's a coloured box, so what we're going to do is going to give it an undercoat of white paint so that any colour we paint over the top will just cover it nicely. There won't be any patchiness. Okay, we're just going to let that coat dry and then we'll come back to it in a minute. Okay, so now the box is painted. It's mostly covered. I'm not worried about all of the coverage because it's going to be uh, painted in a darker colour, um, so that's not going to have a big effect on it. So what we're going to do now is going to take a pencil, and here we go, there's my pencil, Ta -da! and I'm going to draw the features on the box. Here we go. Okay, that's very rough. Probably can't see very well. I'll go over it in black pen afterwards. Oh, I'm going to put some little fangs in here. There we go. Uh, on top of that, we're going to create some little ears on the top here. Go. and around the sides here and here we're going to do what looks like some little cloud shapes but it's actually the fluff on the cat, either side of a cat's head so we say like that lovely Let's see and then twist it that way that. Okay, and then we're going to have some little paws at the front here as well. Like that. And on the back, as we turn it round, there it goes. Okay, we're going to have a little tail shape. Oops. Still a little bit wet, this paint. Like that. And on the side here, we're going to have a little viewing hole. So I'm just going to literally just put an oval ish shape. Like that. Okay. That's all that drawn out. I'm going to go over it with black pen now. Ta -da! Right, now for the painting bit. Okay, now I have mixed a really good grey colour. Um, so I'm going to paint most of this in grey. The mouth bit here I'm going to cut out so I'm not going to actually paint over that. And the bit on the side is going to be a cut out as well so I won't be painting over that as well. So uh, here's some more painting. Thank you. 
Okay, so the grey paint is now mostly dry. The base coat, we left it for about an hour in the sunshine. And we're just gonna do some little touches to it as well. So I've kept the grey paint in a pot with a lid so it wouldn't dry out. a bit of mixing. Just put it all the way through. Lovely, lovely mix. Okay, so we've got our darker grey now. I took it a little bit darker once the camera was off. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stipple it and I've actually got, look at that, a very cute cat sponge and because it's got this nice textured surface it should take the paint really well and just stipple patches over it so it just gives it a bit of depth rather than just being a plain grey box. Okay, just paint the paint onto the sponge. Here's the original box. I've just got to draw on the features of the eyes. But, oh, that's all right. Madame Ratty is uh, loving on the camera. Aren't you beautiful? That's right. Here she is, look. Hello, my friend. Yeah, not only did I make an Odin box, I also made a Madame Ratty box, and I've got to do the eye features for that one as well. And a whop-off Harry Ragdoll box too. 